A vulnerable leader, the word vulnerable, is defined as capable of being physically or emotionally wounded or open to attack or damage. Most would think that sounds negative and something that business leaders should stay clear of. But some would argue that it's wiser to embrace vulnerability. Vulnerable leadership encourages openness in the workplace. These leaders admit when they are overwhelmed or when they don't have all the answers. Relationships in the workplace are much stronger when a manager is open and understanding. And positive employer-employer relationships lead to an increased productivity, improved morale, faster conflict resolution, and employee retention. If you are a good leader, your employees will look up to you, and while your winnings will inspire them, they will also benefit from hearing about your failings and mistakes and what you learn from them as well. With higher positivity, you can distress the workplace. Your colleagues will be at ease around you. You'll be able to discuss tough topics and engage without fear of any triggers. You just have to be sure to be authentic. When you fake sympathy or empathy, it shows incompetence and trust breaks down each and every time. Showing weakness isn't the answer. It's to acknowledge weak moments, address them, and motivate yourself and others to work past that. Do you try to be vulnerable in the workplace? If so, what kind of benefits have you seen for yourself? Let us know down in the comments, and like I always say, please smash that like button.